We want to take you to Winnipeg now. We're getting a live update from the RCMP on a charge laid in relation to an investigation at a residential school. Let's listen. Arrested retired father, Arthur Moss, 92 years of age, at his residence in Winnipeg on a charge of indecent assault in relation to a sexual assault that occurred more than 50 years ago. The victim of the assault was a 10-year-old female student of Fort Alexander Residential School where Moss was employed. The offense occurred between 1968 and 1970. This arrest is a culmination of a decade of work by RCMP investigators who would not have been able to bring this to a conclusion without the incredible bravery of the victims and witnesses who were willing to relive past trauma and speak about what took place. In February 2010, allegations of sexual abuse at the Fort Alexander Residential School were made to the Manitoba RCMP's major crime services. Investigators began to gather information to determine what took place as well as the scope of the occurrences. A criminal investigation was launched in 2011. Officers conducted archival research and spoke to or interacted with more than 700 people across North America throughout this investigation in an effort to locate any possible victims or witnesses. Investigators combed through thousands of documents, including student lists, employee lists, and quarterly returns in order to identify any possible victims. In total, 75 witness and victim statements were obtained by police. More than 80 RCMP investigators have been engaged with this investigation. The question may be asked why, with all this work, was there one charge laid and not many? Unfortunately, due to the passage of time, many of the victims are not able to participate in the investigation, whether that be for mental or physical health reasons or because the victim is now deceased. The RCMP was very aware of the effect our investigation was having on the community. The emotional trauma experienced by victims of abuse is very real and despite the years that have inter intervened between these, the alleged occurrences and when police were investigating, that trauma was still present. Investigators were aware of that trauma and approached the investigation in a way intended to limit further injury. We made sure any potential victims were given the time they needed to consider their options and whether they wanted to relive their trauma by providing statements and potentially going through the court process. We also engaged with First Nations leadership in Manitoba, including the Grand Chiefs, of the Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs and the Southern Chiefs Organization and the Chief and Council of Sag King First Nation, the, co the community most closely affected by this investigation. At this time, Moss has been released with conditions and will appear in court on July 20th, 2022. This is the only investigation into residential schools underway by the Manitoba RCMP. With this charge, the investigation has been concluded. If anyone else comes forward to speak to police, we will absolutely follow up, but we are not actively investigating any further at this time. There is no time limit to report a sexual assault to police. If you wish to report a sexual assault, you can contact your local to police to make a report, or you can report the crime through a third party, such as Clinic Community Health. And being here today, and speak, in speaking to you about this investigation, we are certainly not trying to make this about the RCMP and the work done by investigators. Our focus today, as, as it has always been, is the victims of crime. The victim in this case has endured a lot throughout the investigative process and has stood firm in speaking out about what happened to her. The most important thing to her today is she was heard. Now I'll provide the same in French, just one moment, and then I'll take any questions.
Bonjour. Hello. Je tiens d'abord à First, souligner que I want to underline sur des terres visées par la that we are on unceded Treaty 1 lands of the Ashinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Denny peoples, and the ancestral lands of the Red River Métis. Merci avec Thank you for being here today. Je me I am Sergeant Paul Monet, agent of media relations for RCMP in Manitoba. I would like to specify that what we will talk about the press conference today is in relation with the residential schools in Manitoba could be traumatizing to certain people. Yesterday, June 16, the RCMP Major Crimes Unit arrested former father Arthur Moss, 92 years old, at his residence for sexual assault that happened more than 50 years ago. The victim of the assault was a 10-year-old child, a student at the Fort Alexander residential school where uh, Moss worked. The assault was committed between 1968 1968 and 1970. This arrest represents the end of a decade of work from RCMP investigators. But the investigation could not have concluded without the participation of the victims and witnesses who showed incredible courage to talk about this crime they experience and to relive their trauma. In February 2010, allegations of sexual violence at the Fort Alexander Residence School were made to the Major Crimes Unit in Manitoba. Investigators started gathering information to determine the nature and scope of the events. We opened a criminal investigation in 2011. Officers researched archives and communicated with more than 700 people over the investigation to find witnesses or victims. Investigators spent or reviewed thousands of documents, lists of students, an employee to find any possible victims. In all, the police collected 75 statements from victims and witnesses. More than 80 RCMP investigators participated in this inquiry. You might be wondering why, after all these efforts, why we only arrested only one person. Unfortunately, given the time given that has spent, a number of victims were unable to participate in the investigation, whether for mental health or physical health problems, or perhaps because they have passed away. The RCMP was very sensitive to the impact of their investigation on the community. Emotional trauma, the victims of violence are absolutely real. And despite the years that have passed between the alleged events and the end of the investigation, trauma is forever present. The investigators were aware of this trauma, led this investigation to avoid further injury. We made sure that potential victims have the time to evaluate their options and determine whether they were ready to relive this experience in the statements they would have to make and possible participation in a legal proceeding. We also consulted with First Nations in Manitoba, including the Grand Chiefs of, of the Assembly of Chiefs of Manitoba and the Chief 
Council of the community that was most impacted by the investigation. Currently, Moss has been released with conditions. And he must appear July 20th, 2022 in court. This is the only RCMP investigation in residential schools in Manitoba. This, invest, uh, this investigation and charge puts an end to an enter investigation, but we will do a follow-up with anybody who contacts us. But at this time, there is no active investigation. No, there is no limit for uh, charging people with a sexual assault, and if you want to, you can call us. Or, or the two community health. While we're here to talk about this investigation, we don't want to highlight the RCMP's work on this investigation. Our attention and focus, as always, are on the focus on the victims of crime. The investigation process was very burdensome for victims who held on as they told us what happened to them. They've been heard. Thank you.